Starting inside the boat, we've got a large companionway with two big steps down into the sole of the cabin. On the port side, we've got a big stainless steel stink, sink with uh, uh, pressure water and a large ice chest that at one point was, had refrigeration. The cold plate is still there and all the plumbing is still there for refrigeration if you would just need a compressor. Lots of storage, a gimbal, two burner, no pressure, uh, alcohol stove, or ego, and a microwave oven, and storage under the counter. Lots of storage in the galley for a 30 foot boat. Moving forward, we have a U shaped settee on the port side with storage behind lots of windows very bright clock and barometer and ship's bell which can also be mounted in the cockpit there's a table that fits here you take off the two of the cushions and there's a bracket behind there to put a table in moving forward we have the head Rare 10 flush, manual flush. New quarry and counter. Lots of storage in here behind the counter, as well as a medicine cabinet. It does have a floor drain for a shower if you wanted to put a shower in here. And a track on the ceiling for a shower curtain. The light in here is been replaced with LED, red and white. Uh, and a new holding tank was put in here under the cabinet. It's a 13-gallon holding tank with new hoses. Moving forward is a very large V-berth. Uh, the center portion cushion goes in. The insert goes in, making this a very large uh, queen-size forward V-berth. Lots of room with a nice hatch overhead and a port light on the starboard side. Also lots of storage outboard here on shelving. Coming back on the starboard side, we have a nice hanging locker with drawers. Large hanging locker and shelving. And the starboard settee which can be converted into a very large single. Two kids can easily sleep here by moving that cushion, the back cushion, further outboard. Or you can store behind it. Right now it has a spinnaker behind it. More storage on shelvings. Lots of light. Further aft on the starboard side, we have the nav station with the VHF with AIS receiver built in and a graphic display of AIS information. Stereo with remote. The nav station slides in and out, making it quite large and tucking it away for easy access into the quarter berth, which is seven feet long and about three feet wide at the widest, a little over three feet. Very comfortable. Also, a good place for storage. Cockpit cushions are there. Nice C, C cushion closed foam cell. New Pro Sport 12 charger for the batteries. 1000 watt inverter also new. Jack lines for safety running outside. Fan. Nav station lighting. And the cabin sole in here was refinished in July. Very nice, beautiful wood throughout.